Have you ever pleaded for the Lord's presence to be with you? Hello and welcome to Mending Wings to Fly. My name is Amy Burgard and today I'm presenting a devotion entitled Enter In. The scripture that this devotion is based on is Hebrews 803 as we continue our devotions in the 803 series. Since every high priest is appointed to offer both gifts and sacrifices, so the Messiah also had to bring some sacrifice. In the Old Testament, the high priest was the only one allowed to go into the Holy of Holies to atone of the sin of the people, and this was only allowed once a year on the Day of Atonement. The high priests wore little bells on the bottom of their priestly dress in case they were struck dead and needed to be pulled out due to the holiness of God. Jesus paid the ultimate and final sacrifice when he died on the cross. Jesus is the high priest of our lives. The veil that divided the Holy of Holies from the inner courts or the holy place was rent from top to bottom. We are now able to enter in and commune with our God without a mediator for us. Jesus paid it all and atoned for every sin. Jesus is inviting us to enter in. If you were asked to point to the center of who you are, where would you point? I would point to my heart right in the middle of my chest. This is where Jesus is inviting us, right in the center of his heart. He loves us and his love is perfect. He desires we experience fully his love. His love makes us whole in our body, souls, and spirits. We then share with others the love we have received. The disciples were looking for a Messiah that came with a great might to build his kingdom here on earth. What Jesus the Messiah showed them was love. The greatest love was displayed by laying his life down for them and for all of us. I wrote this devotion in the middle of the Pentecost weekend celebration. After Jesus was resurrected, he told his disciples he must go to the Father so that the Holy Spirit could descend. Who descended was the Holy Spirit with fire. The source of that power was love. The disciples who received the Holy Spirit immediately went out and displayed love to the people by sharing the gospel in all of the various ethnic group languages. The disciples entered into the heart of God and they were changed by the love of God. The question I have for you today is, will you accept the invitation of Jesus Christ the Messiah and enter in? Dearest Jesus, I desire to go past the superficial part of life and enter into your heart. I thank you for paying the greatest sacrifice of all. I thank you that you did this because of your great love for me. I accept your invitation to enter into the center of your heart. This is where I know I will receive your love and the wholeness I so desire to have in my body, soul, and spirit. I then want to share that love with those you place into my life. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, in Jesus' name, amen. You know, the Lord gave me a beautiful revelation. A lot of times I hear Christians almost plead with the Lord to be there with them. And the Lord spoke to me and said, Amy, my word promises that I never leave you or forsake you. See, the Lord is always present with us. So 
the Lord gave me his perspective. And he says, Amy, I'm always inviting my children to come and enter in. It's an invitation. He is always, his word says, come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He even shares with us that how you enter into his presence is by thanksgiving and praise. See, he's, he's not a God that wants to be one that we work at or we are far off from. He is close. It's, it's us that have to say, Father, I want to enter in. I want to enter into your presence. So I hope today you will take him up on his invitation to enter in because he loves you so very much. God bless you. And remember that loving God and loving others gives us our wings to fly. And please, if this devotion has been a blessing to you, would you consider subscribing to Mindy Wings to Fly? And would you be willing to share this on your social media or however you share? Thank you for joining me here on Mindy Wings to Fly.